Well, you hit the first home run under the lights at Jack Cook Field tonight. How did it feel to see the light show and just hit it under the lights? Yeah, it was it was awesome. I mean, we saw it a little bit before the game started, but to really be able to round the bases and have that, it was such a cool experience. And I'm just so thankful that we were able to have that here. So it was awesome. And that's your fourth home run. How good did it feel to get that, to get the offense going, and to see the offense explode tonight after a little bit of a rough Absolutely. weekend? Absolutely. Felt great and just glad we could get some runs on the board. And everyone offensively as a team, we did so well tonight, and it was just a great team win. No, the chances it's, you maximize tonight. Well, we got some big hits in, in the right time. You know, Owen Ayers' home run was was a big one for us. Um, Jay Keo's this base hit was bigger because it was two outs. You uh -huh. know, and it's the difference of whether we score runs or not. Those two out hits. So, but well, getting three runs out of him, number nine in the order. Yeah, you know, eyes out of your catcher like that. Yeah, I well, <laughs> Jay is uh, Jay works his tail off and, and has been ready for this opportunity, and he certainly took advantage of yeah. it tonight. How about Hunter? Back Chad was really game. good. You know, the one thing about Chad, when Chad pitches on the bottom of the strike zone, because his, his fastball's got sync to it, and his slider, and he can mix that fastball slider combination at the bottom of the strike zone, he's going to be really effective, especially – when we're playing defense like we are, no, the left side of our infield oh, are yeah. elite defenders. Uh -huh. And I want to comment on Gio Ferraro, our shortstop. Like, he hasn't gotten going offensively yet, yeah, but, but that was an elite shortstop he played tonight. And um, that holds a pitching staff together. It gives us well, a lot sure of confidence. Sometimes you and, get a six-run inning, and the pitchers want to thank you. And then you see those plays like that, you want to thank you. Yeah, it no doubt. It keeps me around longer. It feeds, it feeds the system, no doubt. How about your reliever guys? Just basically just slam the door and let's go home. Yeah, you know, those guys, we wanted to get work. Though Both those guys are, you know, middle of our bullpen guys, and I just want to keep them sharp, you know, and nothing like game time to get them sharp. It's one thing throwing bullpens midweek, but to get them some live action I thought was critical and because we're going to need those guys. Now we're doing Trivial Pursuit. Now you've got your first night game here. You win. Yeah. The most run sport in the game tonight here. How's that feel? Well, it's all good. the first game it's thing, good. but now you've, well, got, you've got more things to add to first. <laughs> well, to me, it's about the process and and executing processes. In our offense, we hit. We were much more offensive yeah. tonight mm -hmm. with the extra base hits. You know, I want, I've been harping on our guys about being more offensive and trying to do damage with their swings and not just make contact yeah. and getting some extra base hits. We did that, and we threw a bunch of strikes on the mound, and we made we made all the plays on defense. That's a coach's dream when you that's, throw a bunch of strikes easily, and you make all the plays on defense. To a, 